So what we did as a family, we brought the children up to show her that what a boxing ring looked like, the size of it, um, the gloves, the head guard, to show that it was a controlled environment and that the coaches were always there. And mummy would never dream of going around hitting anybody else, but only in, the, in these four walls. And she accepted that and she understands that. And like any mom with a life beyond kids, Rachel had to work her training around her children. Most of my training I completed on a morning before the children had woken up or in an evening when they were in bed. Um, but sometimes I did when I was doing some sparring with Ian, I did it during the day when Emily was at school. And Ben would be at the indoor play centre next door. Rachel always put the family first before the boxing. But again, it's just credit to her commitment, her dedication and her spirit and how she managed the two young children as well as putting in 120% effort to become trained um, to fight. Boxing has been gaining ground in Singapore. Not only is there a growing number of aspiring Rocky Balboas, but more moms like Rachel are putting on their gloves. We train the moms in exactly the same way as we would train any of our professional or amateur or our national boxers. There is no difference in the training from a discipline. Um, the mum's motivations generally tend to be very simple, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, and they also seem to want to work on some definition. But overall, I would say that by being fit and concentrating on their boxing is more fun than being in a regular gymnasium. Rachel herself would be the first to attest to the wonders of boxing. This is probably the fittest I've been in maybe 16, 18 years. And then also, uh, initially I, I lost weight straight away. I probably lost maybe about three kilos to begin with. And then eventually, um, once I started gaining the muscle, I probably put on two kilos that I'd lost. And then people were noticing that how my shoulders were developing, my, um, my muscles in my arms, my biceps and my triceps were looking a lot more defined, which I was quite proud about as well. Quite like that. When the time came for Rachel to face her first opponent, Lee gave her a present she would treasure forever. Her father, he was very, very keen. Even at his time in life, he wanted to make the journey, but he didn't want to make the journey on his own. So I went about trying to convince Rachel's brother and Rachel's sister to join him on that trip as a surprise for Rachel, which would make an extra special evening for her. It took a lot of convincing, a lot of cajoling to try and get them from the UK and fly 6,000 miles to Singapore. But when I told them that I would foot the bill, amazingly, they jumped at the chance. I had absolutely no idea there. and then it was the day before the fight the doorbell went very early on the morning I opened the front door and there was my dad my sister and my brother arrived to, to watch me box and it was the best present it was the best surprise and and ultimately it was a thing that spurred me on more than anything that I knew that they would they'd come all this way to see me and I was gonna go out there and I was gonna give it up give it my all and do it for them We were sent to our corners and I could see my opponent sort of bouncing around and she looked really scary. I was like, oh no, what have I done, what have I done? And I thought, right, I better start bouncing around, look as if I know what I'm doing as well. My plan went out the window and it was just, throwing punches are so fast. Dubbed the Mighty Atom after her father, Rachel was a formidable foe in the night's only ladies' fight. Couldn't see anybody, but I could hear people uh, chanting my name, and that spurred me on. The last 
15, 20 seconds. I knew that this was it. There was nothing. I was going out of that ring with absolutely nothing left. I didn't want an ounce of energy left, and I was going for it. And at the end, the bell went. Stand. I was just so relieved to be still standing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. Your winner of the top ten of five tonight, from Singapore, By a split decision, the fight went to her opponent, but Rachel was far from feeling down and out. Then they brought my dad over, and um, my dad was just crying, crying. He was just awesome. It was a very special moment. It will be a while before Rachel enters the ring again, but she's hooked on the training. I'd achieved so much and I felt like my whole life had changed from walking into a boxing ring 12 weeks previous to knowing nothing to coming out being my life had changed because like the way I dealt with things my fitness the my um, eating habits just the way like I address my life there's lots of tears but just to get just to achieve something that huge that I could, and then just being my family being there, then I couldn't ask for anything else. It was the icing on the cake, really. For now, Rachel is focused on family, fitness, and being a spectator at the next fight night. So now the tables have completely turned. It's Lee's turn to do the training. He's doing the next fight night, and I'll be the, the one supporting and cheering him on and encouraging throughout the next so many months doing the training. So I'm very proud. It's never been um, a sport that I've really wanted to get into, but since Rachel started, that's sort of been the catalyst for me to, to really get involved in, in the boxing scene, and we'll see what happens on the 31st of October. Now, if we ever got into the ring together, what would happen? Well, I'd be running away from you because you'd probably be chasing me with your handbag or something like that. I'd still run faster though. Yeah, I don't think we would get in the ring together. No, I really don't think that would be a good idea. I don't it? think so either. <laughs> but it's an entirely different story if Ben and Emily ever considered taking up boxing. So I don't want to see my babies being hit, but you know what? If it's something that they wanted to do, I would support and encourage them as much as I possibly could and let them do it. Our children see myself and my husband leading active, sporty lifestyles, and this instills in them, hopefully for the future, that that's what they want to do, to aspire to, to achieve as well. Whether she's ringside or cribside, Rachel certainly knows how to roll with life's punches and throw a mean one too.